guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company. Today we are doing five super quick, cheap and easy Christmas DIYs. Let's jump right in. If you love budget-friendly DIY design and decor, then please hit that subscribe button so you'll know every time we upload a video. I've gone ahead and prepped this piece of plywood with tape around the edge because I'm going to create a frame and I've painted it in my country gray Rust-Oleum chalked paint. Now I love a good reveal and I hope you guys do too. And once we have this tape off, we're going to go ahead and use some antiquing wax to create a beautiful but built in frame. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply some fresh tape before I use the stain. And then using the same method I always do with the baby wipe and the stain, I find it spreads really, really well. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way around the sides and the front. I have this tree left over from an old project and we're gonna reuse it to create something new today. I am going to take the next 20 minutes of my life and take apart this can. No, I'm kidding you guys. It didn't actually take that long, but it did take a lot longer than I expected. And here's my PSA for the day. Although I did not cut myself, I very well could have, and it could have been ugly. So please don't be like me and wear gloves when you're doing this. So I just messed around with my tin snips and the can cuts very, very easily. It's more about how you manipulate those tin snips to get the can cut, if that makes any sense. The hardest part was definitely right here at the bottom because I really wanted to bend it so I could get those tin snips in. And like I said, you guys, once I got that sort of little bottom part clipped off, I was finished in no time. When I last used this tree, I did a little bit of spray paint flocking on it. And this time I'm going to use it as a flat tree. So I flattened it out so it's not a 360 degree around, it's flat 180 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and put some heavy duty glue on there and hold it down so it really has a chance to stick down to the board. Now to fill this tree out because we all know the Dollar Tree Christmas trees are very sparse, even when you're only using it half. I have this really pretty, almost frosted looking material. It was actually from the spring at Dollar Tree, but I think it's going to be absolutely perfect for a snowy, wintry look on this tree. So I'm just going to continue to take all these pieces apart because I really want the smaller pieces at the top and those larger ones at the bottom so it looks like a real tree in nature. Once I have them placed, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a few dabs of hot glue to get them where I need them, then add a few pine cones just for a little bit more of a wintry look. Then I'm gonna use some hot glue to attach my can and I did make sure I used the clear stuff so it wouldn't show after. I created this little label for my base of my tree and we'll try to attach that down below. So I put a little bit of Mod Podge down, a little bit of Mod Podge on top, and then I'm just gonna use my fingers to press that into all those grooves on the can so it almost looks like a painted label. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna grab another baby wipe and just wipe off all that excess glue because I don't want that showing up on the can. If you guys love Christmas trees anywhere near as much as I do, I hope you love this one as much as I do. I'm just thrilled with the way it came out and can't wait to add it to my Christmas decor. 
Today's video is part of a collaboration that I've been looking forward to for ages. Crafty Lini and Nadia have put together this amazing group of incredibly talented women. We each chose a color and we're going to be creating all our DIYs around that color today. So you are sure to find something for everyone in this playlist. Make sure you click on the link below to watch all of the videos and make sure you told them I said hi if you're hopping over from my channel. And of course, if you're stopping by Lisa and Company for the first time, make sure you head down to the comments, say hello and introduce yourself, and I'd like to say welcome. This is a super quick DIY made with this gorgeous trim and a styrofoam cone from Dollar Tree. I picked this up a couple of years ago. I thought it looked so Christmassy and I just never got around to using it. We are simply going to wrap this cone in the trim and layer it up. It has the most gorgeous texture. And like I said, don't blink because we're gonna be finished before you know it. The best thing about a project like this is you could use so many different materials. I mean, rope is an obvious one, but there are so many things that you could use to create this beautiful texture on one of these dollar store cones. You could create an entire collection of these. And you know what? Stay tuned, you guys, because I feel like there's more in our future. All right, these Dollar Tree frames are from a project that just never happened. So they are completely taken apart. The glass is gone. I've pulled out all the little pins that holds the back in, and we are gonna create a super quick, cheap and easy lantern that we can style multiple different ways for the holidays. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these together. Now I like to offset them and I find it much stronger. If you put two in the top and the bottom and one on either side, it will really rock back and forth. This way it really reinforces it and you can kind of see on that corner what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna take the white Rust-Oleum chalked paint and we're gonna dry brush all over this. It has kind of a dark brown woody finish and this is really going to lighten and brighten it. Now you have to make sure you do absolutely everywhere and that includes the inside of all the frames because you're gonna see them. I have this beautiful piece of buffalo check gray and white ribbon and it's got another piece of ribbon on top. It's from an old project and I want to show you how I made this. I had these beautiful roses from Forever Rose and I pleated this ribbon so I could wrap it around the box and make it fit in my decor. Well, I've since swapped that ribbon out so I've had this sitting around looking for something else to be used on. So all I did was pleat this back and forth, add a few dabs of hot glue to hold those pleats down and very small ones. Then I took a beautiful piece of Dollar Tree ribbon that says home all over it and glued it right down the center. You guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love texture and by layering up these ribbons and pleating them, well, we created some beautiful texture. Now I'm going to take that same piece and I'm gonna put it around the bottom of my lantern glue it on each corner, and then what I did was use the wire to really bend it and get a nice sharp corner. When I did the next one, I pulled it just a little bit and bent those corners over, and then I attached it at the back. I want to show you guys how I styled this two different ways for the holidays. First up, I put a little wooden riser, a tiny wreath and a battery operated candle and doesn't that look pretty? And then I took that same riser, covered it in a Dollar Tree automotive cloth and put three of my bottle brush trees in it. There are so many ways you could style this.
Guys, these super simple projects are so much fun to do. I picked up this car in the toy section at Dollar Tree. I loved the lines on it. And my significant other tells me this is like a vintage Corvette, but I have no idea. I just thought it was cute. Taking my country gray Rust-Oleum chalk paint, I'm going to paint the entire thing and let it, let it dry overnight. I left it overnight just because I thought with it being plastic, it would really help if it was cured longer than just you know half an hour then i took one of my dollar tree furniture touch-up markers and i'm coloring in those front headlights the windshield and the line i there's a word for it it escapes me and someone's going to tell me down in the comments but i'm doing the line that goes around the middle of the car I also used my darker gray Rust-Oleum chalked paint to do the center of the tires. Now, since this is a Christmassy little sports car, I decided it needed a little something something on the hood and that was gonna be a tiny little wreath. I always think it's really neat when I see cars during the holidays and they have one of those wreaths sort of wired up to their front grill. It's so festive, even though where I live, it ends up covered in snow and sand. So I just took some bits of greenery from Dollar Tree and some of the white berries and made a tiny little hood ornament for my car so yeah you guys i apologize i lost a little bit of footage here but i tied my twine onto the tree and then went all the way around the undercarriage of the car and back i didn't use any glue for this i just sort of let it hook underneath now let's make a tiny little bow to finish it off and i don't know this is just one of those bucket list craft items i've always wanted to try we see the red trucks absolutely everywhere and i wanted to put my own twist on it what do you guys think would you ever paint up a car from the dollar tree toy section and make it something Christmassy? make sure you head down to the comments and let me know This DIY is a whole bunch of leftover wood blocks. These are from a large two by four I cut apart, ooh, like two years ago for another project, and they had even been painted in different colors. Well, I went ahead and sanded the heck out of them and painted them in my, what is it? This one's country gray Rust-Oleum chalked paint. And then I'm gonna use some decals that I cut out on my Cricut to create some really super quick, cheap, and easy decor for the holidays. Since I had three of these blocks, the word joy fit absolutely perfect. And you know what? Since I love snow, yes, I actually just said that. I love snow, so my O became a snowflake. I love these blocks because they are so versatile. You can stack them up, you can put them out side by side. If you're loving these super quick, cheap and easy DIYs, make sure you let me know down in the comments because I will make more of them. All right, you guys, that's a wrap for me today. Make sure you click on the playlist down below in the description box and check out all these incredible women and the amazing content they have created just for you today. I've also put a Christmas DIY playlist right down in that description box as well. So happy watching. Until then, you guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye. Here's a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Like I said, don't forget to check out that playlist. Make sure you drop me a comment and let me know which one is your favorite. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd love it if you'd subscribe because it really helps my channel grow. Thanks for stopping by Lisa and Company and we'll see you in the next video.